Hello everyone, Ralph here. For those that don't know me, I am an author and a coach, and I run an organization called Help for Men, and you can learn more at helpformen.com. And I've been doing this dad starting over thing as a content creator for years, and I get all kinds of messages and emails from people on a daily basis. And here's one that I received from a guy we'll call Bob. Uh, he sent me a message on Facebook, and he says, so here's a question. We were together for six and a half years, we had our issues, but we were going to fix them when I got home. I was deployed for a few years, so military guy, and she cheated and is now in a rebound relationship with the guy and moved into an apartment with him and my two kids two weeks ago. Ouch. The guy is broke, dirty, a loser, no license, physically dumpy, totally nowhere near my level physically and professionally. How long until it wears off and she realizes that the grass isn't greener and she reaches out to me? I started no contact yesterday. I still love her and I want my family back. But she currently is shut off from me emotionally and she seems enamored with this guy and she can't see that he is trash. I mean trash as far as in and out of jail. No license, no car, still hangs out on the corner, dresses like an angry ex-con teenager, and he's 40 years of age. Definitely nothing to offer her or my kids. I'm curious as to if she will come to her senses and see that she made a mistake and come back. Oh, Bob, this is a pretty common one, and I told him I'm going to make a video response to this as opposed to uh, responding to him directly on Facebook um, because this is such a good one. And it has a lot of layers to it, often as these stories do. Number one, you're a military dude. You should understand that your world, and I say this as a military brat, meaning my father was a career military man, an enlisted man. You have to understand that that world has a lot of drama associated with it. A lot of relationship issues. We have on our team at Help for Men, Coach Jason. He goes by Coach J. He is a career military man, recently retired from the U.S. Army. And we talked about it. You can find a chat I've had with Jason on here. Uh, wherever you're watching this, you'll probably find it in the archives. I did a live chat with Jason all about this. Um, there's something to this whole military thing. Guys getting with the wrong gals. A lot of drama ensues. There's a lot of reasons why. Uh, maybe certain personality types lend themselves to the military. Maybe it's a matter of immaturity. A lot of really young people joining the military. They don't have a lot of options in life. They're joining the military because, you know, they want to be able to afford college and so forth. So it points to a lot of really young people making uh, impulsive decisions and um, getting together again with the wrong people. And what you're seeing here is, and I've done videos on this and a lot of talks about this, is um, what you're seeing here is a pretty common thing, which is a man saying, my partner, and I use that term meaning spouse, girlfriend, whatever, um, left me for what I see as an objectively horrible person. Like, this makes no sense. Aren't women supposed to like trade up as far as mates are concerned? Something that you'll hear a lot of guys talk about online is uh, something called hypergamy. Well, if that's the case, then what the heck is my spouse, girlfriend, whatever, doing, going for what is everyone can see is a horrible mate prospect. A couple of different ways of looking at this. One is, dude, you got with a person who has a lot of issues. I'm willing to bet that her family is not so great, is it? Uh, mom and dad didn't have the greatest relationship. If she has brothers and sisters, they probably also have not so great relationships. You got with somebody who doesn't have the emotional tools in her toolbox to pull off a legit long-term relationship or marriage, especially after kids come into the picture. That's a whole other issue. You take that person and you leave them alone for a while. You don't give the attention that they so desperately need. And it's not a good combination. And you're seeing the end result of it. Basically what she's doing is she's showing you and no uncertain terms, this is who she is. She's the type of person that marries somebody, commits to them, has kids with them, and then drops them for what sounds like an objectively horrible person. Why? Because he, in his objective horribleness, makes her feel a certain way. She feels alive. She feels connected to him. Probably feels a certain familiarity with him. Something that makes her say, this is my quote-unquote soulmate. So much so that it's worth dropping husband, 
taking kids, moved into a strange apartment, all that terrible stuff. This is not an up or down move for her. This is a lateral move. That's who she is. That man is a reflection of her. I'm sorry. No woman in her right mind would intermingle with such a person, let alone have their kids intermingle their lives with such a person. You would run as far away from that type of person, right? But she didn't. She ran into his arms, into his apartment. It's not good, dude. Now I'm saying all this because what you're saying in your message to me here is, how do I get her back? Is she ever going to wake up from this crazy stupor that she is in and realize what mistake she made? Even if she did come to her senses one day, usually by virtue of a breakup, like the guy dumped her and she's left alone. And you know, like she was when you went and you were deployed and she's alone sitting there going, what do I do now? I'm alone. I'm an abandoned child. Probably a dynamic that she was familiar with from her childhood. And she's scared. And who does she go to? You. Because you're her long lost love, her soulmate that she made a giant mistake with? Or because you're a safe bet? You represent safety and security. You don't necessarily represent the excitement, lustfulness, and chaos that she so desperately needs, apparently. Do you want to be that guy? Do you want to be the guy that is the safe bet. Once they get all their kicks and their jollies and that settles down, she goes, I can always go back to Bob over here. No, you don't want to be that guy. That ends in a lot of heartache, a lot more chaos. You need to distance yourself from this woman as much as humanly possible. You had children with her. I could go on and on about why that's a mistake and so forth, but that's not a very nice thing to do. Those are two little kids, two little humans that need their daddy. They're going to need somebody to be a, an example of normalcy, security, structure. They're going to be with mom and this crazy guy, probably not for very long. And the world's going to be shaky under their feet. And they need somebody safe and secure to go to. They need their daddy. You don't need to be daddy to her. That's not your job. You need to let her go as a romantic partner. And then down the line, what you need to do, Bob is ask yourself, how did I get involved with such a gal? And why, when in no uncertain terms they show you who they are? Why do you not listen? Why do you continue to hang on? What's going on with you up here? If you don't get on top of that dude, you're going to do this all over again. I've seen it a million times. All right, brother, I appreciate you reaching out. And I'll tell you what you should do. You should go to helpformen.com. It's our website. A lot of articles in there. We even have a section for veterans. Go to helpformen.com slash veterans. Probably some good stuff in there that you can relate to. And we have a men's group called the HFM Brotherhood. We have a discount specifically for veterans. You get 40% off our member fee. Yes, there's a small fee involved to belong to the group. We have a lot of stuff that we offer. We have uh, private forums, private meetings, coaching, the whole nine yards. And to you, it costs like pennies a day to join since you're a military dude. Just our way of saying thanks for everything that you've done for our country. So check it out. Helpformen.com. Scroll down. You'll see the brotherhood. We would love to uh, have you on board. All right, brother. Once again, thank you for reaching out. Appreciate it. Best of luck to you.